Students at Arkansas Baptist College speaking out this week about troubles with their financial aid. And tonight, the National Alumni Association is responding. The association speaking out after they issued a vote of no confidence in the Board of Trustees. Our Maureen Glisevic has the story. On Monday, students at the historically black Baptist College protested in frustration, saying they haven't been able to get answers about their financial aid and scholarships. Students also cited problems within Arkansas Baptist College's Board of Trustees. We were supposed to have a meeting with our chairman, and he told us we basically not on his priority list. How, how you on a board serving us, and we not on y'all top priority list? That doesn't make sense. While they await answers, earlier this month, the National Alumni Association issued a vote of no confidence in the Board of Trustees. Just a few months prior, they filed a complaint with the Higher Learning Commission. In that complaint, we cited 16 specific incidents where the Board of Trustees failed to follow their bylaws, failed to follow the criteria that's established for them to uh, be in compliance with the accreditation standards. The association's treasurer, Joe Hill, telling KATV a main concern is the departure of college presidents. Most recently, Dr. Calvin McFadden, who resigned this month after just 12 months on the job. And the previous president, Dr. Carlos Clark, who started in October 2020, but by 2022 was suing the college for wrongful termination, citing issues with the Board of Trustees. Right now, you have the Board of Trustees actually micromanaging the president, and that's why they can't seem to last beyond a year. And that's our concern as alumni, as we knew that something was seriously wrong. And that's what prompted us to file the complaint that we had no confidence in the present board and that we're asking them to pass the leadership baton and bring in some new perspective. On your side, I'm Maureen Glisevic. All right, thanks a lot, Maureen. We have reached out to members of the board whose emails we were able to retrieve. We are still awaiting responses.